This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Final Cut Pro 10.3. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how we can use roles and the timeline index to organize our audio. Okay, now watch what happens. I'm going to go over to the timeline index. When it comes to clips, this is the same. We can search for clips and we can use this to jump around inside the timeline to go move the playhead and select a clip just by clicking on it inside the timeline index. Tags allows us to see all of our markers and to do's and to dones and analysis and keywords and all that sort of stuff. This is the same as 10.2. This is different. Notice that I have in this project, I have video roles, dialogue roles, effects and music roles. Shift Z to get everything to fit. If I want, I can click the focus button for dialog and notice that it's reduced the height of all of my effects tracks and all of my music tracks, which allows me to start to work with my effects. And if I click the lane button right here, it explodes out all of my sync clips so I can see each individual audio clip that's been given the dialog role. I can adjust levels for it. I can apply filters to it. I can add fades to it. And when I'm done, I click this back and they're all back again. No double clicking, no dealing with it on each individual clip. Focus allows me to focus, reduce the size of all of my effects or all of my music or reduce the size of the dialogue to the extent that I can because the sync clips are also attached to video, which don't reduce. Many times I want to sync music so it starts at a very specific part of my project, but I've got multiple layers of effects in there and, and now I've got to drag the music clip up and it's going to change position. And it's just a mess. Watch the music clip. I'm going to grab it in the roll, drag it up, and notice that all of my music clips have now traveled above my effects clip. Or I can grab my effects clip and I can drag it up above the music clip. I can start to move my layers around, even if the layers are 10, 12, 20 layers deep, I can still move all of them as a clump without having to drag each individual clip. Think of the, the organizational power this gives you. Let me give you another example real quick, and then we're going to come back to this. And I'll take this one more step further, which is just amazing. One of the things that I've done, this is part of that same footage that we were working with earlier, and I'm going to turn on... Notice I've got titles that I've added over here. I'm going to turn on titles, and I've got a mishmash up here. This is a locator that I created. If I click on Expand inside the Timeline Index, you can see that there's a subrole for an English title, a French title, and a Spanish title. I'm going to turn off the Spanish title, turn off the French title, and now imagine I had... 20 titles in Spanish, 20 titles in French, 20 titles in English, rather than have to find them all and type the letter V to make them disappear, I can assign a role to it, say, turn off all my titles, show me my French titles, turn off my titles, show me my Spanish titles, not only display it this way in the timeline, but also export it so that I say, just export the Spanish version and all of my music, which is tagged Spanish, sorry, all of my narration, which is tagged Spanish, all of my titles, which are tagged Spanish, without me having to create a new project, I just simply output the Spanish version, go back, output the French version, turn on the French titles, output the English version. So turning on and off roles allows me to quickly enable all of my titles or video or dialogue or music or enable just a specific subrole within the title to output a particular language. Well, we've been able to do that in 10.2. What 10.3 does is take it one step further. Let's go back to our farm. One of the big problems that I've got is I want to add a filter, a limiter filter here, so I can boost my levels. Then I'm going to add an EQ filter to shape the sound of the men's voice, to richen the bass a little bit and, and brighten the mid-tone, the mid-range, so that I can make diction clearer. So I've got to select each clip and add the filter, and I have to change the filter for each one, and it is a pain in the neck. It's easier to send it over to Adobe Audition, do the mix there, bring a stereo pair backdrop into the Final Cut, because I need the control. I'm going to select all of my clips. Command A, select all of my clips. Go up to the File menu, go down to New, Compound Clip, and we're going to call it Final project. 
You can call it anything you want. There's no magic to the name. And it's now created a compound clip. It's got a different color. See the button that says Show Audio Lanes? Click this, and now it splits out my roles. So I've got a role that's just dialogue, a role that's just effects, a role that's just music. So now I can grab this and drag up or down and make volume settings for all the clips inside the role. And if I open up effects, for instance, here, and go to audio, levels, and grab the logic limiter filter and drag that limiter filter on what's called the roll component, I can now add a limiter filter. Notice I've highlighted the component, go to the effect, go to audio. I have now the ability to, let's just pull this down. There's my limiter effect. I have the ability to change the limiter filter and bring up my audio so that it sounds wonderful without having to do keyframing, without having to do level adjustments. I go into this in the training. It's just amazing because it can save me so much time. But there's more. So this ability to take a compound clip of the entire project and split out the stems is something we've never been able to do before. To hide them again, just say hide audio lanes. Audio lanes are simply a way of of grouping and displaying similarly related roles. And we'll just break this apart again. Command Z, Command Z. And there we are. Now we're back again. I could, of course, deconstruct the, um, the compound clip by break apart clip items, but it's just faster to do undo. That would be under here. Break apart clip items is how you, you disassemble a compound clip. But there's more than just roles here. There's more than just the ability to, to say, turn off all of my music. I don't hear it anymore. Turn off all of my sound effects. Turn off my dialogue so I can concentrate on the music. The timeline index gives us organizational control we've never had before without having to work with individual clips. But there's more. Let's get a little fishy. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Final Cut Pro 10.3. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 207. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.